For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The stock market continues its upward momentum, driven largely by favorable election results as investors celebrated with gains across major indices. Both the Nasdaq Composite and the Standard & Poor's 500 reached new record highs, signaling strong optimism among investors in the tech and broader equity markets. However, the Dow Jones Industrial Average displayed more uncertainty throughout the afternoon. It wavered between gains and losses, ultimately closing slightly below the red line, a sign that the broader market rally may have had a more limited effect on certain sectors or companies. Adding to this evolving economic scene, U.S. Treasury yields decreased after the Federal Reserve announced a new cut to interest rates by 25 basis points. This rate reduction is welcome news for anyone looking to borrow, whether for purchasing a home, a vehicle, or other significant financial investments. The cut in Treasury yields reflects a response to the Fed's efforts to stimulate growth while maintaining a stable economic environment. Meanwhile, the dollar experienced a slight drop in value, providing a boost to gold prices as the precious metal began to recover from earlier declines. This small dip in the dollar's value also aids U.S. exporters, who benefit from a weaker dollar in international markets, where American goods and services become more affordable. In other news, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell appeared to have achieved what many would call the elusive soft landing, lowering inflation, reducing interest rates, and avoiding a recession. However, this economic balance was disrupted by a political curveball, a second term for President Donald Trump. With this unexpected twist, the economic roadmap ahead has grown less certain. A Trump administration could bring significant policy shifts, creating both opportunities and potential challenges for the Federal Reserve's strategic approach to rate adjustments and inflation control. Today, the Federal Open Market Market Committee confirmed a unanimous decision to lower interest rates by one-fourth of a percentage point, which aligns with Powell's previous commitments made in September when the central bank enacted a larger cut of 50 basis points. This decision underscores the Fed's cautious approach to sustaining economic growth while guarding against inflation. Investors, though, are already casting their gaze beyond today's announcement, contemplating the Fed's future moves in light of Trump's potential economic agenda. Analysts caution that the president's policies, such as increased tariffs and a broad fiscal expansion may rekindle inflationary pressures, requiring the central bank to tread carefully in the coming months. The Federal Reserve's dot plot projections from September indicate one additional quarter point rate cut may occur before year end, however, some economists believe that the central bank will proceed cautiously with further cuts, particularly as Trump's tariff strategies and widening budgetary policies might push prices upward again. Economists are divided on whether the Fed will proceed with another rate reduction given these potential inflationary risks and the general uncertainty surrounding the administration's fiscal direction. Jeffrey Roach, chief economist at LPL Financial, commented that investors had developed high expectations for continued rate reductions, noting that the market must now refocus on fiscal realities. Roach's insights highlight the need for a balanced perspective on rate adjustments. As the economic landscape becomes more complex, Trump's return to the presidency introduces a unique set of challenges for the Federal Reserve. Although previous U.S. presidents have expressed varying degrees of frustration with the central bank's policies, Trump's approach is far more direct. He has even suggested that the president should wield greater authority over the independent agency, raising questions about the Fed's future autonomy. While Trump has indicated that he will not dismiss Powell, he is expected to replace him when his term ends in 2026. In the corporate sector, several companies released noteworthy earnings reports. Ride-hailing platform Lyft posted strong earnings driven by an uptick in commuter activity. This positive trend led Lyft's shares to surge by over 22%, underscoring the company's resilience and its appeal to urban consumers. Similarly, real estate tech firm Zillow delivered impressive financial results, easily surpassing earnings projections. Investors responded positively, driving Zillow's stock up by more than 23%. Streaming and media conglomerate Warner Brothers Discovery also experienced robust growth, seeing an 11% increase in stock value. This jump followed the company's announcement of its largest single quarter gain in subscribers for its Max streaming service, indicating a positive reception for its content library. On top of that, Under Armour, the athletic apparel giant, saw its stock rise by 23%, following the successful execution of a comprehensive cost-saving strategy. With management projecting a strong performance in the coming quarter, investors appear encouraged by 
Under Armour's operational improvements and renewed growth potential. Meanwhile, Planet Fitness, one of the leading names in the fitness sector, outperformed analysts' expectations with solid quarterly results and a promising outlook for future growth. The company's stock climbed by over 11%, reflecting investor confidence in its ability to attract new memberships and retain its loyal customer base. We also saw that private prison companies such as GEO Group and CoreCivic both benefited from Trump's election win, with each stock posting strong gains. GEO Group saw an increase of over 13%, while CoreCivic's stock jumped by more than 25%. The two companies stand to benefit from Trump's policies on criminal justice and immigration, though each firm faces different strategic challenges in the path ahead. On the other hand, the Trump Media and Technology Group, which initially surged on the night of the election, experienced a reversal as investors took profits from the recent rally. The company's stock fell by nearly 23% after a period of sharp gains, as investors sought to lock in profits amidst market volatility. Other companies experienced varied financial performances in recent weeks. Wolfspeed's stock took a substantial hit, plummeting by nearly 40%. This decline followed the company's announcement of larger-than-anticipated losses, a weak forecast for the coming quarter, and plans to reduce its workforce to mitigate costs. Match Group also faced challenges, with its stock decreasing by over 17%. Although Hinge showed impressive revenue growth, the decline in Tinder's revenue dampened investor sentiment, underscoring the competitive dynamics within the online dating industry. You should also be aware that space travel and technology company Virgin Galactic, a high risk stock saw its shares fall by almost 12%, reflecting ongoing struggles to reach profitability and achieve consistent financial results. Virgin Galactic remains under pressure as it navigates a difficult path towards sustainable growth in the space tourism market. The regulatory landscape may also shift significantly under Trump's leadership. Trump has pledged to remove Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler on his first day in office. Gensler, who has enforced stricter regulations on financial markets, could soon be replaced. Trump's stance could also impact Federal Trade Commission Chair Lena Khan, known for her stringent oversight of major tech firms. Elon Musk, a prominent prominent Trump ally recently posted that Khan will be fired soon. This potential shakeup among regulators could create a more favorable climate for companies considering public offerings or mergers and acquisitions. According to David Costin, chief U.S. equity strategist for Goldman Sachs, cash-based mergers and acquisitions are likely to rebound by 20% in 2025, following a 15% decline this year. He also expects a greater number of companies to pursue initial public offerings in the near future, encouraged by an improving economic backdrop after a prolonged downturn in IPO activity over the past three years. Looking ahead, tomorrow's key economic data release will be the preliminary consumer sentiment survey from the University of Michigan. Economists are hopeful that positive consumer sentiment, fueled by lower inflation and robust economic growth, will spur holiday spending. Higher consumer confidence typically leads to increased spending, which could drive economic activity in the months to come. On the corporate front, as this quarter's earnings season winds down, Paramount Global has been a focal point for investors. The company which faced a takeover battle earlier this year ultimately entered a deal with Skydance. However, some investors remain cautious about the likelihood of the merger's completion, given the competitive pressures within the streaming industry. Analysts expect Paramount to report earnings of $0.21 cents per share and a total revenue of $7 billion. In conclusion, the Nasdaq and Standard and Poor's 500 reached new highs, while the Dow closed slightly down. The Federal Reserve announced a 25 basis point rate cut, which helped lower Treasury yields the though the potential return of Donald Trump may complicate the Fed's approach to inflation and interest rates. Lyft, Zillow, and Under Armour posted strong earnings, each seeing double-digit stock gains. However, Trump Media, Wolfspeed, and Match Group saw stock declines, with investors taking profits or responding to weak earnings. Meanwhile, regulatory changes under Trump could lead to a rise in initial public offerings and mergers. You should also keep in mind that the preliminary consumer sentiment survey will be a key report, as optimism about the economy could drive spending into the holiday season. Paramount Global's quarterly earnings, expected to show $0.21 cents per share and $7 billion in revenue, will also be closely watched as investors remain cautious about the media company's future. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.